Hello and welcome back to what's new in Fusion 360, January 2021. As always, be sure to take a look through Kaching's blog, linked in the description below, for all the details like bug fixes, user suggested improvements, and more. In the machining extension, we're bringing some upgrades to the way you can use tool orientation to create multi axis operations. For a quick overview, tool orientation is available in the geometry tab of every milling operation and it allows you to redefine the tool axis to access different areas of the part. Previously, tool orientation required selection of a planar surface or straight edge to define the z-axis, where the axis would be normal to the selected surface or along the selected edge. This could be directly from the model or using work geometry, like work planes and work axes. In this update, we're also allowing tool orientation to be defined from a point on a non-planar surface. The axis will be normal to the surface at the selected point, further reducing the need to create work geometry for complex parts. We're adding even more control to tool orientation with tilt and turn handles. These appear as graphical handles, which can be used to further manipulate the tool orientation. Now you can adjust the z-axis when selecting geometry, or set a tool orientation without selecting any geometry at all. There is also an Align to View option to align the z-axis normal to your current view, further streamlining the tool orientation process and reducing the need to create additional geometry. Note that both the Tilt and Turn handles, as well as Align to View, are associative. The values that populate the Tilt and Turn parameters in the dialog box will be maintained even if there is a change to the model. For a closer look at this new functionality, watch the video linked in the upper right corner. In Additive, there are some nice usability improvements. First up, there's a preference to control when to generate supports and optimized orientations. Checking the box will maintain the current behavior, which is to generate the support or orientation immediately upon creation or change. If unchecked, supports and orientations will not generate immediately, and you can generate them manually when you're ready. Up next, when creating a new setup from the Additive tab, the operation type is automatically set to Additive. Just one more smart default and one less button click. We have also added support for Creality and GE Tech printers, including machine files and post processors available in the machine library. Last but not least, the Additive Simulation extension is available for preview. Note that upon full release, this will be a paid extension. The Additive Simulation extension allows you to simulate in-process distortion, possible interference with the recoder blade, and post-process distortion that may occur during the powder bed metal additive process. You can simulate different part orientations or support structures to optimize print outcomes and even generate compensated geometry to reduce final distortion. Note that you will need the Additive Build extension to use the Additive Simulation extension. That's all for this update. Be sure to check out what's new in design, engineering, and electronics, and we'll see you next time.